In this video I want to show a local oscillator that works from 1.3 MHz up to 4.2 MHz. It's a demo circuit and that means that uh, for all people uh, interested in uh, radio technology um, you have to develop it further. You have to do experiments and especially um, experiments to get a pure sine wave. Here you see the waveform at the moment. It, this is a pure sine wave, but on other frequencies the waveform is not very pure. So you have to do some experiments. So uh, change for instance uh, the value from this resistor, change the values from these capacitors or this capacitor set the transistor to another working point but this is, with this demo circuit uh, you can make a local oscillator in this frequency band that generates a good sine wave uh, and that's why I publish it the coil is visible here uh, it's uh, wound from a so called telephone wire and this telephone wire um, has uh, these properties. The massive copper wire inside is uh, 0 0.2 millimeters, that's the diameter from the core, and with isolation the um, wire is 0 0.6 millimeters. It's wound on a paper roll from 1 centimeter diameter uh, and in such a way that a ferrite rod can stick into it easily. And the ferrite rod, you can see it here, is 14 centimeters long and approximately 0 0.9 uh, centimeters is the diameter. And that makes that it can be easily uh, uh, positioned into the coil, into the core. This is the coupling capacitor from the tank circuit to the oscillator. With this potentiometer we set the working point. Always very important, never forget it. This is uh, our two series resistors to get uh, the working point into the right voltage uh, value. And here is a capacitor and here and this capacitor and this capacitor and this one they are in parallel for a so-called um, capacitive voltage divider. When you um, bridge the coil with a capacitor from 220 picofarad um, you can get to the frequency band from 9 Five nine kilohertz up to three point one megahertz. Uh, here you see how it was made in a classical way with uh, uh, brass nails on a piece of wood. This is the potentiometer to set the working point, and this is the coil. And here you see the frequency that's generated at this moment, 3.1 MHz. And this is the waveform at this moment. Now I can, you can see uh, what happens when I change the working point. With the 25K potentiometer. And it is also a demo circuit because I use here a 2K5 potentiometer. And this varies the amplification in the transistor because the amplification is set by the difference, the ratio between the collector resistor and the emitter resistor. This is all generally spoken because the capacitors here also set the frequency. Very important. So 
these capacitors set the frequency from the oscillator. And of course also the tank circuit. Here. This is in, in effect the frequency dependent circuit here. But here you set the amplification with these two capacitors and the ratio between the collector and the emitter resistor. So uh, now I'm going to stick in the ferrite rod completely and you can see that the frequency changes a lot. It goes down, the frequency becomes wider on the scope and it goes down to 995 kHz with the rod completely into the coil. And you can also see that the waveform is not a scene wave any longer. So that's a problem. You can, can change this a little bit by the set, changing the working point. But uh, you can also see that this is not a complete remedy to get a pure waveform. So you have to do experiments. Now I uh, changed the 2K5 uh, potentiometer in the collector lead. You can also see that this has an effect on the waveform. And so there's a lot to experiment when you want to use this oscillator in radio. And as you know, in a radio, um, the local oscillator has to deliver a pure sine wave without distortion. That works best. When you have another waveform, let's say a square wave or so, or a square wave-like waveform, um, it will give problems in a classic radio receiver. Um, okay, this is how it was made. I have already told it. Um, uh, this circus works so well because it was made on wood with brass nails and there's no stray capacitance uh, or um, parasitic capacitance added to the circuit. I take the ferrite rod out again now completely and you can see that the frequency goes up to 3.1 MHz. And I can say that you get a better waveform, a more pure sine wave, when you use here a capacitor. Uh, the coil itself has also capacitance due to the windings that lay closely together. So there is a natural capacitance in every coil. Uh, but when you add a real capacitor or a variable capacitor, you will get a better waveform. So that's an advice. Uh, also this capacitor you can change and you can also add uh, more quality to the waveform. Okay, that was all I had to tell about this local oscillator circuit. Uh, especially for people interested in radio technology, do experiments and uh, find, out, find out how it works. Change uh, values from capacitors, resistors, but uh, of course uh, keep in mind that uh, when you um, do uh, drastic um, Adaptations to the circuit, it won't work any longer. So every component here has um, works without, yeah, within certain limits. I wish you luck.